Uh, three points, Mr. President. Uh, first, I think we've got a way to get that budget down to $57 billion. Now, it's sleight of hand. It may lead us to a lot of criticism and may lead others to say that, that it's another indication of the lack of credibility that can be attached to your announcements or my announcements or administration announcements, but I think it's fair and square and open and above board. What it does is stop financing military personnel and operations and maintenance costs for South Vietnam after the end of 1966. On the theory we can't see that far into the future, if it looks as though we'll need the large expenditures that we're planning for 66 into calendar 67, we can always come back to Congress before the end of the year, and it would be imprudent at this time to try to look ahead 18 months in a picture in a future as uncertain as this one. In any case, uh, that's the only way we can get down there, and I think it's a fair and square way, and Charlie Schultz and I and, I and Bob Anthony, who's my controller, all agree on this. Secondly, uh, I talked to Von Hassel this afternoon at considerable length. There are two matters that you might like to mention, again, to Earhart tonight. One is this offset arrangement. Von Hassel says the only way to ensure that we will receive the money and orders due us under the offset, and here he's speaking not of before the end of the year, which is really unimportant, but the monies we are to receive over the next uh, uh, 20 months, 18 months, is for you to tell the Chancellor we just have to have them uh, and that our troops in, in uh, Europe are dependent upon their compliance with the offset agreement and you hope that he will instruct his finance minister and defense minister to work out a solution to it. They have gotten themselves in such a budgetary jam that unless the chancellor himself personally instructs the finance minister and the defense minister to do this, it won't be done, so von Hassel says. And finally, I hit von Hassel very hard on military troops for South Vietnam. And I think there's a chance of getting some, not very much, and not combat troops, but military troops out there, and, and I'm inclined to think it'd be very much in our interest to do so. A medical company, for example, or a construction battalion. And I thought you might want to know that he would be willing to go along with that if the chancellor indicates that that's what should be thought of. All right. We, before I leave, we'll get together and hear these uh, details on the budget thing. I'm meeting uh, on some minor ones uh, uh, this afternoon. I want to say this one until uh, I can get some of these others sure. worked out. I'll probably leave tomorrow night. If it's convenient to you, we'll try to have two meetings tomorrow, one on the, the general thing after we hear from Wheeler and one following that one, maybe on the budget thing. Any time at your uh, What I want to do is, uh, is to get as low as I can with this little scare into the Russians sure. and the Chinese as I can, sure. with as little uh, inflation their psychology as I can, with as little... Uh, deficit as I can, uh, and we have been all over the lot this year. We've been everywhere from uh, three billion, three and I, first we had a six billion deficit. Then we jerked it down with good figures to three and a half. They all came in and said an ounce because our revenue exceeded and our expenses were less. Then they got it back now up to, uh, we're going to spend 105 to 107. And, we're going to take in uh, 97 or 98, so it's back up 7 or 8 now. And I just, I, I want to try to get a figure that I can stay live with as much as possible. Uh, my guess is uh, if I could uh, do something in this neighborhood with you and with uh, the Shrivers getting... Uh, Oh, double what they got last year and about the same what they got this year. HEW going from 7 to 11, uh, uh, 7 something to 10 something. Uh, I, I might get by without a tax raise. I think what I want to do is I get, I get your uh, reaction. How much trouble would I have in the light of this psychology we have? And, Everything. Uh, this goddamn Federal Reserve cost me six hundred million in interest rate. Yeah. Just on my refinancing. 
Uh, how much trouble would I have canceling this telephone excise and auto excise? I think you, you'd have a, Mr. President, I think you'd have a lot of trouble. I don't think that it ever should have been uh, reduced. I never did think that was a way to cut taxes. But now that it's been done, my own feeling is it would cause you lots of trouble with business, with the Congress, and with the press and the public. Now, doesn't business want you to uh, raise the, what you spend, and and it hadn't gone? You they, see, it hadn't gone in effect yet. Mr. It, uh, President, there are strong. I'm talking about what goes in effect I, next. I know year. that. I know it. There are very strong lobbies and strong segments of American business that are being benefited by that excise tax reduction. And two primarily, all two and telephone. That's right. And but they are very strong, and they've got 40,000 automobile dealers in this country that are that'll be benefited by it because their price to the public goes down, presumably their sales will go up. And you've got all of them plus the companies, and they've had a hell of a lobby on here. They did last year, that's why it went through. It never should have been cut, in my opinion. And I say that after 15 years with the industry. I, don't I, thought, that, I thought that all of our economists thought it had to be to keep our prosperity. Well, right. I, think, I think even many of the economists would have said it would be better to, to uh, cut income taxes rather than these excise taxes. But anyhow, it was done. And all I'm suggesting now is that I think you would have great political uh, trouble with, with canceling it. I, my own view is you'd be better off going up for a tax increase at some point in the form of a, of a, uh, a cert tax on the income tax if you feel you need additional tax revenue. And I'm, my own guess is it's only a guess now that you will need additional tax revenue, but you could probably wait until June to get it. My economists tell me if I can keep under a $10 billion deficit, I can write it out. Yeah, and you might possibly be able to, you see. And that's really what I'm saying with this $57 billion. I can't tell you that we'll be at war with them 18 months from now, or if we are, how much we'll be spending. And why should I try to forecast beyond the end of this year, or the end of 66? One way I guess you could cover yours when you make this announcement, you could say, well, I know that for this six months it's going to take $12 billion of this fiscal year, right. and for the next six months it's going to take 11 or $12 billion. I can't tell 18 months from now, so I'm asking for the next 12 months now, and I'll have to ask for the next six months if we're still at war. What, what I would say, Mr. President, is I've financed all the normal expenditures of the department through for 18 months to the end of fiscal 67. In addition to that, I financed all of the long lead items, such as airplanes, things that take a long time to produce, uh, on the assumption the war will continue through the end of 67. But it isn't necessary today to provide for the money for 500,000 additional men in January a year from now. So why do it? We'll come back in mid-year. Is this the best uh, plan that you Mr. Mr. President, uh, it's the only plan, really, that will get us to $57 billion, except just frankly underestimating. Now, we could underestimate. After all, uh, the difference between, say, $60 billion and $57 billion is only about uh, 5%. And, and in the, the size of an operation we're running here, you can't estimate accurately within 5%. Or turn it around the other way, it's only about two weeks. So if I assume that everything slips two weeks, I can just drop 60 to 57 on that basis. But that's a much less uh, acceptable way of, of explaining it to the Congress if they ever have to drag it out of me. And I think they eventually would drag it out. Somebody in the building would expose it. And if it's going to be exposed, I would much prefer to follow the first proposal where we simply say that we finance all normal expenditures for 18 months, all long lead items for 18 months, and those short lead items directly associated with South Vietnam for 12 months, January to January. Have you talked to anybody like Mayon or Russell? No, sir, I, I didn't want to until No, I, no, I understand that. But, but I, I will, of course, do so after. What do you think their reaction is? Well, uh, I, would, I would change it a little bit when I was talking to Mayon. I'd say, but George, it, it, it would be a serious error to go up for a tax increase now if it turns out later we don't need one. Now, how the hell do you know what's going to happen 18 months from now? And, and wouldn't it be unfortunate if we put a tax increase bill through here and these expenditures didn't materialize? 
I think everyone agrees we don't need it in the first six months of, of calendar 1966, so why not wait until June? At that point, I'll be able to tell you better what the military expenditures for the full fiscal 67 will be. And if at that time it appears that they'll continue at the, the December 1966 rate, then perhaps you'll want to consider a tax increase. But don't consider one now on a, an expenditure total that may prove fictitious 18 months from now. What about the Senate? Is that right? Well, I'd tell Russell the same thing. Mm -hmm. Who give you trouble? The Republicans. Laird will just tear me apart. Fictitious reporting, misleading the American people, seeking to finance the great society by deficit spending, hiding from the public the true facts relating to war, you know. But then I'll, I'll, in closed session, I can go at him on this same basis. Is he suggesting we raise taxes when we don't know we're going to have expenditures? What kind of responsible fiscal management is that? Now, we can argue it out, but he'll just give me hell, I know. Are you uh, thinking that we ought to announce before Christmas Eve that we're going to have no firing unless fired upon? Mr. President, I just saw, I just talked to Cy a moment ago. He and Mac have been working on that. We just sent a message out, or are sending a message out to South Vietnam saying that we plan to do that. I rather lean to saying it before Christmas Eve, Mr. President. The Chiefs are very much opposed to saying it. I, I think we lose the public uh, uh, relations effects of some of these actions by failing to announce them ahead of time. Mm. Why are the chiefs against it? Oh, they don't like to be tied down by uh, having made a public announcement. They think if we make a public announcement, then we can't protect ourselves. Well, Cy has changed some language in the originally proposed state draft, which properly protects us. It says, we, in effect, we won't fire on except in self-defense. The chiefs said, suppose that you're in a valley and behind the hill uh, they are bringing up forces and they're just going to clobber you the, the minute the ceasefire ends. Uh, you mean to say you're going to sit there all night long and let them build up those forces? Well, we changed the language so it says uh, we can fire in self-defense. I, I think we've properly protected ourselves and if we fail to announce it, I think we're just failing to take advantage of a public relations move that would benefit us. I don't feel too strongly on it, but it's on balance, I'd announce it. You, uh, did you get your power plant? Uh, I don't know. I Frankly, I just haven't even had time to look at the cables today. We uh, did authorize it, however, after you... I saw they made a run at it, but uh, they had to go through clouds. I didn't know. I just and don't know. They, they said that the plane to try to picture it got knocked down, and another one uh, didn't show up or something. I just don't know. I'll check on it immediately. All right. Now, let me see what you're saying to me. You're saying to me that we want to say to the... Uh, 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 Chancellor. Uh, Chancellor tonight that we expect him to go through with his offset agreements and tell his finance and defense ministers to get ready on that. That's right. That we want uh, some uh, military people out there, medical companies or construction. Medical. But, right. But, uh, how right. many? Just, I got one of each, Mr. President. Well, how many in each? Well, I guess there's about 150 in a medical company and probably a thousand in a construction battalion. Uh, now, have you got uh, these ships being unloaded? Russell Ray's now about 40 of them in the harbor. Oh, he's right on that. They're backlogged out there, and we've, we're getting them unloaded, Mr. President. It's better now than it was, but it's still bad. Is there anything else we can do? No, sir. Uh, we've we've uh, helped have you, them. With... Have you sent your expediters yes, out? Your yes, people? yes, I have. And you, either you or I, I don't remember which, sent the Gleason out there. And, and uh, while I was in Europe last week, he came in and talked to Cy, and we're going to get a weekly report from him. Gleason is the stevedoring. Yeah. Now, somebody tells me that Cameron, uh, your Army engineers, are not doing worth a damn, and that your Morris and Knudsen crowd is moving heaven and earth and going to town, but they show up at your Cameron Bay, whatever you got going there, your construction group at 11 o'clock in the morning, nobody there. Uh, you better check with Mansfield. He's raised hell about that. Oh, no, and I maybe you want mean to... That, that Morris and Newton show up at 11 o'clock? No. They, I guess Army. I would gather it's Army construction. Uh, it's I can't believe it. I, I've been out there all hours of night and day, and they're working 24 hours a day, but I'll check on it. Anyway. He was t talking to me about it, fussing, and said, your private people doing fine, your government people weren't any good. Well, I'll check on it immediately. All right. Thank you.